Assalamu alaikum and welcome to another episode of British Ramadan with me, Anissa Khan, here with Shazans and the one and only Greg this evening. Now it smells so good in the kitchen tonight and I am fasting, so let's go find out from Greg what he has made me. Um, Hello, Anissa. Greg, always a pleasure. Lovely to see you. Lovely always. to see you, my love. How are you? And what day are we on now? Oh, you put me on the spot. Ah. Day 18. Okay, wow. not bad, not so, bad. So, what we've got for you tonight is we've got some Jamaican jerk okay. kebabs today. So Very it's, nice. So we're using breast meat on that. Okay. We've marinated these on, and skewered them. We've marinated them for a minimum of two hours. Okay. And they've been done. And then we're cooking them off. If you can leave them 24 hours, it is a lot better. It absorbs that okay. flavour. You know, you get that all spice, that cumin in yeah. there. You know what I mean? And it just makes them a lot more nicer. But this is a more healthier option because if we're using breast meat today all rather right. than thigh meat. So or is breast meat meant to be more lamb, healthier? The breast meat is more healthier. There's okay. less fat Didn't in know it. That. So rather than using thigh meat or using lamb or anything, we're using some lovely uh, chicken, what we've diced up okay. today, to be honest. And then what we've done is we've coated it in a little bit of oil. Then we've put the seasoning in and do the tumble like we have. it's been shown on other Very recipes. Nice. It and does smell really, done, really good, Greg. And then what we've done is we've then skewered them up and we've just left them in the fridge then until we've got them on the griddle here now. So, very quickly, talk us through the flavours because it smells really, really strong. Right, And so, really flavours them on there. So we've got a bit of, you did mention cumin. We've got all spices, the okay. main flavour on so like this. Paprika, and then we've got cumin, cumin. We've got some paprika in there. Okay. We've, and we, we've just and we've got obviously that chili in there because this is quite a spicy dish. You remember this? This is like a Caribbean food. Okay. So it's, so it's really good to have the spicy. spices in it, yeah. And then what we've also done with it, we're going to do a, a rice with it. Okay. Now this is quite a spicy rice. So I know. I know this is like going <laughs> to spice up your life, honestly. Because <laughs> this rice is spicy your life, honestly. It really is. So what we're going to do, we've got some shredded carrot in there, some mm -hmm. really thin cut carrot. Good. We have got some spring onions in there. We've got onions. We've got some peppers in there, red pepper. Okay. Brilliant. That's and then great. what we're going to do is, and what we've also done with it, we've got some chilli in there, we've got some garlic, and then we've added the, we've cooked the rice off first, then we've put it into the pan, and what we've done is we've stir-fried it up just like in a wok, and we've done that. And then what we're going to do is, we're just going to sprinkle a little bit of spring onion on there just to give oh, it yes. that greenness and that crispiness where it's been in the pan. Talk us through the rice then. What did you put in the rice to make it spicy? Because you, you have told me it's going to spice up my life, Greg. So come on, talk me so through it. So what we've done is we've got some garlic and some chilli in there right. first and that's what we've done. Now, the, remember these these recipes are on that website of Shivan, Shivan's yep, and Shivan's. on BMTV. On so please have a look. Website. You know, if you can't remember what I've said to you, please, please just go on the website and have a look what we've done. Well, if so, the rice is going to spice up your life, you do not <laughs> want to miss this meal, guys. So British Muslim TV and Shazan's website for all of Greg's amazing recipes since the first day of Ramadan. And honestly, I can say I've been trying them out myself. And I mentioned before, not the best person in the kitchen, <laughs> but they have been absolutely fantastic, flavoursome, and really don't want to miss it. So easy and effective. Like Greg said, on the skewers for about two hours? It's on... About, to what? marinate. To marinate, literally, okay. they only take about... 12 to 15 minutes, oh, depending okay. on the size of the chunks that you've either bought or what size you've yeah. put them on. You can use this on, on the chicken inner fillets as well. What about like an egg grill? Well. You know, like the egg grills that you can get. Can you put it in an egg grill as well? What you, would you recommend? You, I don't know how you get the sticks on them. Right. I'll be okay, honest with yeah. you, I've never used one of these yeah. fantastic air fryers. Yeah. I'm a bit traditionalist, to be honest. I like the oven, I like the griddle, I like the grill, you know what I mean? Well, it did take me a while this. to understand the oven, Greg, and a cooker, <laughs> so that's why I like to use the alternatives of an air fryer, I find well, it more. Well, you probably be able to teach me all these <laughs> air fryers, but anyway, there you go. So then what we've done is, so we've, so we've sautéed up that chilli, that garlic, and that onion in there, and that pepper. Then what we've done is we've got the rice, we've cooked it, and we've chilled it. We've okay. just washed that uh, starch out of the rice. Very nice. Then what we've done is we've added it into the pan, the last minute and then we've stir fried it in the wok and then we've brought it up and then you've got all that spice and the reason it is spicy is because of that chilli that's in there I put bird's eye chilli in and I've Very left nice. it seeded so you get the heat of the 
You, you get can the heat smell of the chili. it. You can smell the heat of the chili, and it's very, very flavoursome with some really strong flavours, like I've mentioned before. And I think it's great. You know, this is something that you can have for a barbecue as well, Greg, even on a summertime. You, can you, you see, this is quite a versatile product. You can literally just put it in the oven and cook it. You can put it on your barbecue. You can do what we've done here. We've got it on a griddle. You can grill them. So it's quite. Just if you, what you've got to do is just keep turning them. Yes, of course. Just so it doesn't yeah. just cook on one side. You need to keep turning them. But and you then can it also cut it through so it's nice. And remember, it's got to be over seventy-two degrees. I like it to be between seventy-eight and eighty. Press me over 72, 75 degrees is perfect. But it's also really good with the, you know, some people might not just want it with just the skewers. You can have it like pita or wraps. You, you can. can even make the alternative with the wraps as well. I'll even show you it. just how to get it off the skewers. You okay. can, you can what call it. And what you do is a little trick that we've got here, look. And I don't know if you can see this. What we're going to do is we're just going to put the fork on there. Uh, and it's as simple as that. And you was asking me what this was yeah, for, well, wasn't you? I thought that was my fork to no, try the food. I know. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not big enough. <laughs> oh, Greg. <laughs> so, and literally, what we do is we literally just take that off there and your skewer's there, and then that can go in your pizza, it can yeah. go in whatever. You can also, you know, with the chicken, sometimes you can, like, you know, when you can, like, not mash the chicken up, but, you know, you can, like, shred it. You can, you do can you know what I mean? It, but then you wouldn't have it on a stick. Yeah, yeah, of course, honest. yeah. I think that's a little bit, it, it's a long-winded process, I think. You'd use a, a tougher cut of meat, okay. like the legs, or like, right. the, like when we shredded the lamb, if you look on that uh, recipe, then that's what we did with that. Well, that's, yeah. it tends to be, if you, if you use, to shred it, you probably use legs, and that would give it better when you get the two forks. Okay. Yeah. Right, you can sit down, and I'll tell you what... Thank you, I was waiting for this. Right, we've got a guest, a friend of mine, Ayaz, would you like to come in and... Come, because I'm going to feed you tonight. Now, this is Hello, my friend Ayaz. here, Ayaz. Hi, yeah. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So, Ayaz. Hi, Chief. How so, are you? Yeah, so, if you just want to come in. in a little bit come forward on. for us, so we can get you in the spotlight. That's it. Uh, on, just the move a little bit Ayaz. back. That's it. So, just very quickly, Ayaz, if you could tell us a little bit about yourself and what it is that you do with Shazans. Uh, I am uh, area manager uh, for Shazans. OK. Uh, uh, Counters in Tesco's and Morrison's. Okay, very nice. So, with some of our meat as well, we've been getting them, haven't we, Greg, from Halal Tes Tesco counters? So, what we're going to do as well, Greg, is that you will need to offer Ayaz as well some meal. I will be doing it. Don't you worry about that. About I've got plenty on this. Too. Today, guys. Now so, then, I'm just going to put this on here so they can see it. Yep, if but you're if just going to tell them about the where we get it from this product. Uh, so, they've so, got this product, uh, yep. product from Tesco's in Huddersfield. Okay. And we've got shops in uh, Bradford as well. Oh, brilliant. As well as the Manchester area. Okay, and it's also HMC certified. Yes. And you can get them from halal Tesco counters and halal counters yes. from the meat and they're pre-packed. Yes. And with the pre-packed meat as well, guys, you can find them at Asta? Uh, yes, it is in okay, Asta. Okay, brilliant, nice. Greg, you've got to... You've got to give us this meal because it is smelling I really gonna, good. Absolutely. It's I'm really gonna good. I'm going to put this up in front of you now. Okay. And I'm just going to get you... So we've got that spicy Brilliant. rice in there. We've got a plate for Ayaz. We have. I've oh, got a plate for Ayaz. Yeah. Don't you worry about that. We're going to feed everybody. We. That's that's my job, to feed everyone tonight. Oh, Greg. I can't wait to try the spicy rice. It looks really, really, really nice. I'm going to I'm gonna let you try it first, Ayaz. I'm going to let you... Uh, you give Let us your verdict today, because I've been giving it every day, guys. Yeah. So I'm you ask and please tell me what you think of that. Let now, us if know you come and stand here in there and, and let tell me what you both the viewers think. Know. Is it the time? Yeah. Uh, it is now the time to open our fast, so bismillah. Try this. Wow. You weren't saying that rice wasn't spicy, Greg. That what is spicy. What do you spicy. think of that, then, guys? No, spicy. Does that tickle your taste buds? Is no, that, that one nice? It. After fasting all day, that really does tickle it. That is really nice, Greg. That is really, really nice. And there's glasses of water there for you both. Bismillah. This jerk chicken is really good. How's the chicken? It's is really it nice, nice tender? It? Mm -hmm. Are you getting all them flavours, all them spices from it? We are really, really nice. It's giving, like... Barbecue chicken style, don't you think? Yep. It's really, really good. Greg, do you know what? You've done it again. Well. Tastes better than my mum's. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's really nice my that we've got that. My mum's definitely not going to be talking to that's me That's really that. nice that we've no, got. And, and also, tomorrow, we've got uh, Vavuval curry. Is that how you pronounce it? 
that are vuvul curry. Because that is what we're going to do for you tomorrow. And we're going to do some rice with it. Okay. And we're going to do some naan bread as well, so you can soak up them, them juices off that curry. Very but nice. For now, but for now, I want you to tell me and just enjoy it. Well, listen, guys, they are eating it, so it can't be that bad. And I am staying quiet, guys, today, which is very, very <laughs> rare. You know, inshallah, we will see you tomorrow with myself and Greg with more, you know, flavoursome flavours, with more ingredients, with more different kind of things that we have going on. So stay tuned. See you tomorrow, guys. We'll see you tomorrow, inshallah. Take care. Assalamu alaikum.